it's Mayor Walter Senzik. I'm here at the St. Catharines Library and I just want to talk about Children's Mental Health Awareness Week here in our country. Here in St. Catharines we have a wonderful organization called Pathstone. It is one of the leading organizations not just here in our community but across the country in providing mental health services for kids and their families. And so as we acknowledge Children's Mental Health Week. It's also an opportunity for us to have a conversation with our friends and family about mental health, and mental health awareness, and the services that are provided in our community. So I want to say thank you to all of those who work at Pathstone, those who work to support children's mental health in our community. It makes a difference. And so if you're looking for more information, check out the Pathstone website. website and Thank you again for everything past on that you do for our community. Take care. Hey guys, most of you guys know me as Christine, the uh, Pathstone employee, but today I want to talk to you about Christine, the little kid, um, and what makes children's mental health so, so important to me. As a kid, I experienced a lot of anxiety, a lot of worrying thoughts, a lot of catastrophizing, a lot of just assuming the very worst. And because of that, I presented with a lot of behaviors, a lot of meltdowns, a lot of yelling, sometimes hair pulling, screaming, shouting, um, you know, it was hard for me because I wanted to do everything perfect. I worried about everything and I always assumed the worst. And what made it more difficult is that my parents, they didn't understand my behaviors. They couldn't make sense of it. And so it was always Christine's being difficult or, you know, Christine's just being dramatic. And that made it extra hard for me as a kiddo because I was experiencing something I couldn't understand and the people around me didn't know how to support me based on my needs. Um, and when we think about it, uh, for when I was growing up, there was so much stigma around children's mental health. And so my parents honestly just didn't have the knowledge to understand and recognize the signs and symptoms of anxiety or really any mental health. Um, so it just all seemed so behavioral to them. The good news is, is that as I got older and my parents also did, um, they kind of began to understand or learn more about anxiety and what it was. And so they were able to connect with me and um, empathize with me and understand that my behaviors and my actions were not a choice necessarily, but the result of my anxiety. And albeit very irrational at times, it was just something I was experiencing and that I needed skills and strategies to learn how to manage. Um, and with that came opportunities to learn through therapy, through support, by meeting with doctors and things like that. And if that had not happened, I would not be the person I am today. I would not be the, in the profession I am today. Um, I likely wouldn't be able to regulate myself the way I do now. Um, and so it all came from knowledge and understanding, breaking down stigma and my family working on empathizing with me and trying to understand me. Uh, and that is exactly why I believe so much in children's mental health. And I am such a big advocate for Children's Mental Health Awareness Week um, today, tomorrow and for all the years to come. Thanks a lot. Bye. Hi guys, I'm Alexa and this week is Children's Mental Health Awareness Week. I was asked to make a video about why children's mental health is important. And honestly, it's been driving me crazy because I didn't know what to say. I suffer from depression and recently I started suffering with anxiety. I have suffered from depression for quite some time and I thought I had to do it alone. And I thought I was okay doing it alone because my grades were still good and I was still doing things I loved. And my room was clean and I had a perfect life, right? Um, my grades quickly fell and everything that I thought made me okay quickly disappeared. Growing up, um, I always thought asking for help made me weak. Let me tell you something. It doesn't make you weak. It definitely proves that you are stronger. I learned very quickly that your mental health impacts everything around you. 
It impacts your grades. It impacts relationships with others. And it impacts your relationship with yourself. Um, at the start of my grade 11 year, I had friends. And the more I started struggling, the more I lost my friends. My relationships with my family were impacted because I wasn't me. I was tired all the time and I just, I didn't care. Mental health is important because everything is impacted. I didn't recognize myself. It was, I was, my relationship with myself was so incredibly impacted because I didn't recognize myself anymore. Um, not gonna lie, I forgot what I was saying. I got a phone call, sorry. Anyways, but um, everything is impacted and Children's Mental Health Awareness Week is a week where we bring awareness and let people know you're not alone because you really aren't. Past Stones is there, the hospital is there. There's so many people out there that can help you. And even if, um, even if you think you're okay, it's okay to reach out for help. It's different for everyone, but you don't have to go through it alone. Uh, Hi, I'm Bobby, and I have uh, the views of a parent of what it's like to live with a child who has mental health. Um, so there are a lot of ups and downs sometimes, not always. Um, but in the beginning, I guess it's kind of rough, you know, like you're trying to figure out what's going on, you know, what the needs are. Um, you're advocating for your child, you know, at the doctor, at school. Um, and, and once you get on, a, you know, a routine and, and know what to expect, um, things do get better. Um, for example, you know, once your child, uh, starts therapy, you know, going to the doctor regularly, um, you know, getting the help they need at school, you know, all of those implement implementations are put, um, in place for them, then things become easier. Right. And I guess, um, that's the message that, just because a child has mental health does not mean that the world is not their oyster. Um, you know, they just have a different route, um, a different way to learn, um, a different way to cope. And once they have those skills, those coping mechanisms, you know, those grounding exercises, um, you know, how to create that positive mindset, you know, they, they have all the advantages um, that you and I would, right? Um, you know, so so being a parent, yes, you know, it's challenging. Um, but being a parent in general is challenging, right? Um, it doesn't come easy, and sometimes you get curveballs. Um, but you'll learn. You'll learn how to deal with it. And it may seem scary, but there is a really big community out there um, that can support you um, and children's agencies like Pastor Mental Health that can support you and your family um, to, to see what's going on with your child. Prior to the pandemic, we already were in the midst of a mental health epidemic. And now many of our children's mental health has been compounded due to the fallout of the pandemic. And the outcome, over half of Ontario students indicate moderate to severe levels of stress. Youth are feeling depressed about the future because of the pandemic. Wait lists have increased at an alarming pace over the course of the past two years, and the demand for mental health treatment has skyrocketed. Community children's mental health are in need of an influx of significant investment dollars to go directly to hiring counselors. My Children's Mental Health Awareness Week message is to all those who are in the sphere of funding influence. Use your influence to speak out and let the funding influencers know that you want them to invest in our community's mental health. Get real, make it happen, go green.